Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noding. Uh, the other day I made this 3D geometry that's kind of uh, rather abstract, but uh, it's a kind of interesting looking. This is actually um, something that's made using simply a cast modifier, or in, or in my case, I'm actually using stretch of notes. It's called the cast note. It's basically very similar and mimicking the cast modifier. And the cast modifier itself, it's a uh, it's inside Blender for a while. Basically, if you have like a Suzanne or any other uh, 3D shapes, you can simply apply cast, and you're gonna have uh, you can turn monkey head into a sphere, for example, and you can kind of doing it in the reverse. So. Yeah, like it says, it's shifting the shape of 3D mesh in towards any predefined shapes, sphere, cylindrical, cuboid. So we have exactly that cylinder. We can turn Suzanne into cylinder or cuboid, which is just a cube. Okay, so that's um, cast modifier. We actually have, if we go to edit mode, we actually have uh, two sphere. So this also have been there for a while. But now we can uh, actually play around with this inside SpreadShop. So SpreadShop one um, is very, very similar. So if we start with Suzanne, we can use cast, cast node, plug in the vertices. So only the vertices and then the outputs of the vertices goes there and this is the result and we can oh let's see Turn up the start. we can see the effects already happening so strength one is the default you can go minus you can go really high high number uh, in stretch up so turn it into sphere or cylindrical we actually have a different one here prism okay prism oh that's a cube okay cuboid and we have uv sphere so that's special that's a bonus so that's basically it in a nutshell but you have you can do a lot of things with this um let's say with the cast modifier here we actually have this control objects <clears throat> so let's say we assigning on empty and we are using the control objects empty and then turn on transform the transform of these objects will affect it this is one thing really uh, cool with modifier is that you can easily add this another objects to control this um, if you want to do the same using scratch up you can turn on the origin external so the external origin this is where you can change the influence position <clears throat> there's also with with the stretch of nodes we actually have control over the shapes scaling and the effects so the effect scaling is quite advanced um, you can influence this based on any value on top of that with stretch of you can actually have like a like a multiple origins and that will automatically generate um, kind of like a lot of objects that's why i end up with something like this this is actually what is this a plane or a sphere being deformed but many many times so if we didn't start with Suzanne, we just use something simpler. For example, a plane. Center the plane, ten by ten. If we use a plane, we're gonna have a plane. And we, if you want to influence the plane, let's start with uh, just maybe bring this up or down. But uh, let's let me think. Um, 
let's reset this for now use cast the this goes in so we have this spherical influence affecting our plane it's become a circle and let's create a, an origin external and with the origin we push it up okay that's minus that's one okay so that's basically what's happening here but if we have what happen if we have multiple objects so that's the question so this is a cast node explorations so for example we can have this influence at a random place for example if i just plug in random so you random will create random positions and you can see how it influences the plane based on random position it's almost like stretching it what if we have more than one random so you can start to see it's actually affecting it in a for each and every vertices so this is what's kind of a really interesting the cast modifier github thread actually have some examples the one that's really interesting is this one in particular you can try making this using the kd3 and then list join at level 2 but even at list join level 1 this will create a very interesting objects so it's affecting it per point basis so this is actually really quite advanced and powerful hard to explain yes uh, because you can for example you, you can list split this guy and you can you're gonna end up with a lot of objects i believe there you go right you have now 91 objects because we have 91 random value and we split the value or we have it like before if you don't want too many value like this you can always merge it so you end up with a single object but this one is also how multiple plane could be affected by multiple random vector so it's it's factorizing itself automatically that's that's the word yeah, you can end up with a lot of abstract shapes random vector is pretty random but what if you have like circle so it's less random but still so that's circle and with circle you can move it for example in the z axis or y axis almost like origami kind of design so it's, this is actually basically just many many objects and you can increase this value so it's here again kind of like origami pattern so far i explored this idea but uh yeah i i also try this one i i have i end up with a lot of unusual shapes and remember you you're not limited to just plain you can have like a we can start with a cylinder and the cylinder of course will be deformed unusually so that's if we use a cylinder this is what we have cylinder can have radius top and radius bottom and we can have a lot of interesting design they are of course overlapping and if you see individual shapes you can see it's just like overlapping
but again it's really interesting it's a uh, it's pretty abstract let's see if I can create something that's easier to understand so this is a sphere with a, just a single cut that's why we get that shapes if I increase this value you can see the sphere started to make some kind of sphere so this is the radius of points that's affecting the cast to sphere node so this also can be a cylinder can be prism or uv sphere that's really abstract but if, if i reduce this okay now you can see exactly what's going on so this moving it side by side i like the symmetry so if i push it up or down you have these shapes it might remind you of, of some kind of architecture design or could be like an animal, I don't know, but uh, this is just, again, just a cylinder being shaped or deformed by cast to sphere nodes. And I'm using this split here, what if I, if I don't use that? Ah, okay, it's only affecting a single object, so I like that split. Circle, radius increase the number of influence it reminds me of the maybe the opera house or a building in in india that's similar to the opera house yeah it's overlapping but it's still interesting if you want to print it out you can always Remesh modifier. Foxtel remesh. Now it's become something. It's a it's a little bit messy, but you can always quad remesh maybe. Have better topology, but you get the shapes just to generate the ideas very very quickly. So that's basically what cast sphere is. To make these shapes you just continue playing around with these ideas shifting the position oh this one actually taking a while maybe i should have done it from this guy so yeah hopefully you find this useful uh interesting uh let me know what you created i have actually a couple more example so that's done better flow but I have, for example, this design. What is this? It's basically, the mesh goes in and out by itself. It's very, it's very non-manifold, very strange kind of surface, almost abstract. Oh, this one, very unusual. I actually, I really like this one. This one must be using the KD3. Oh no, it's used circle split okay cast to uv sphere all right similar to what we did earlier prism okay so abstract looking geometry with a very simple nodes um, and remember if you don't want you turn on merge otherwise you're gonna end up with a lot of objects all right thanks again for tuning in let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye